We're here with Bridgewater men's lacrosse head coach Mick Grant heading into the ODAC playoffs. So talk a little bit about this is your second trip now to the postseason. So how, how was the journey to get back there after making it last year? You started with, you played four of the five other playoff teams to start. So you were actually 0-4. You went to a game at Shenandoah that came down to the final possession where you really needed a win. And now you battled back to win your last six conference games. So sort of how has that been doing it a second time? Yeah, I, I think uh, certainly the first four games really tested us. You know, we told the team that you know we were going to see the best out of the gates, uh, and that that would galvanize us. Uh, they really took that to heart. Uh, we went into Shenandoah really kind of guns blazing, and, and that was a battle that we had to hold them off. Uh, I think that set this, the the tone for you know the remaining games. Uh, we knew that we could. You know, play and beat anybody, and, and the kids bought, bought into that and believed it and, and carried it through. So uh, while you know you have to see everybody all the time, uh, the early games really strengthened us for the home stretch. And one of those six wins was against Hampton Sydney, a 14-13 victory here at Chopson Field, and that's your first round opponent. You know, that was the first time you would beat one of the sort of traditional top four ODAC teams, the four teams that are often in that top 20 conversation. You know, how much of a benchmark was that for the program? And now going in, you know, in what ways is it a good matchup for you? But also, you know, is that tough to have to try to beat a team a second time? Yeah, it's always tough to beat. You have to beat a team twice uh, in a season. Uh, certainly, it, arguably, if not our biggest win to date. In our seven years, um, I, I certainly think you know beating Hampton City here really showed the kids that they could play with anyone. That when we played up our high expectations and level, that we can compete with anyone. It was the first time we put close to a, a complete game together, uh, so I think it, it gives us confidence going down. I think different from last year, our kids know they can beat their opponent. Uh, we haven't feared anyone all year, uh, and so they're excited. How important is the face-off battle going to be in this game? Jake Brummett for them leads the ODAC in ground balls, but you actually won that matchup here. Mason Gaunt now in the top 10 in the country in face-off percentage. Yeah, I think that's going to be a, a really key point to the game. Uh, whenever you can control possession, certainly with a team like Hampton Sydney and their dynamic offense, uh, possession is going to be crucial. So, you know, we're fortunate to have Mason and two seniors and Tyler Nieto and Willie Spindler, uh, who uh, we feel can all help us hopefully win that battle again. And then defensively, you held them without a goal in the fourth quarter and then come back. You know, sort of talk a little bit about that matchup with their attackers. Yeah, I think their attack and their offense in general is so dynamic. I think the kids really played well down the stretch. Hunter Bagby, our goalie, came up with some key saves. Uh, it's, going to be, uh, it's going to need to be a total team effort again. The defense is going to have to play well. Uh, we told them it's going to be a game of runs, much probably like the first game. Uh, and we just have to stay true to who we are. So, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about it. and. and you know, we're looking forward to that matchup. Well, the game is at 4.30, and the winner will go on Friday to the semifinals against Lynchburg and at WNL, so good luck to the team today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.